Hey, I I just want to say Congrats, right off the uh, I'm sorry, General Ironicus, for Good mistaking eye. you for a rock tumbler in the Something last video. It's, me, Harry. it's unforgivable. Ron and I had strange oh, I'm so sorry, General Ironicus. Please don't <laughs> ban me from any further LPs. You know like what you and James did have in common? You're both dead women. That's great. Harry can jump pretty high for being like 10. Well, I don't recall any jump spells being learned. Uh, uh, in the first book, it says that one of Harry Potter's, like, before he went <laughs> before He could jump ten feet wizard. up in the air straight. <laughs> you just got before, told on Twitter. Before, um... Oh, oh darn, I got told on Harry Potter. That. Oh darn. Finds out he's a wizard, <laughs> Harry. Um, he, <laughs> like, he, he can jump. He, like, he, like, ends up on the school roof somehow, and he doesn't Lovely know how. Day. Don't you think? But also, did that happen in the, in the context of also the game? Also, his pants are around his ankles, and for some odd reason, he's been looped up. <laughs> Flipendo. It's so depressed sounding. Flipendo. Oh my god, is General Ironicus in the call with us? <laughs> Goodness, I wish. It's a birdie bots at every flavor bean. Flipendo. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, in the PlayStation version, you're actually only looking for earwax-flavored beans for a prank that's going to be played on Slytherin. In this game, you look for any flavored bean. Every is, flavor bean. Yes, which is going to be used for this prank, and I can only assume that it involves like turning the beans into some sort of combustible substance and blowing up the Gryffindor Tower. Growling by the forbidden <laughs> corridor the other day. And then blaming it on the Slytherins. Gryffindor Tower was an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> do Dumbledore I know you? Did it. Uh, yes, you do. I'm Gryffindor, fucking Harry huh? Potter. Better make way for a Slytherin. Oh, boy, me! I hear the I've heard there's a secret room around. That is a use. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. You'd think they. You think one of them would have is. cast that spell at some point? Nope. <laughs> just thought it was an ordinary bookcase that couldn't actually hold any books. Because it just had a, uh, Harry a piece Potter's of paper the on person... the front that looked like uh, books, but no. wasn't actually books. Because Harry is the only person in school that's smart enough to actually cast one of the many spells that they teach. Hell Nobody the... else knows Aloha more except him and Hermione. Absolutely nobody in the entire school. Nobody's as smart as that nope. bitch. Uh, except for Dumbledore. Oh yeah, probably. That's that's what I was getting at. But he only shows up in the game twice. And then he's all like, Now off you go! Now <laughs> off I go! Ten points for Gryffindor! Area behind a bookcase today. Oh, what I just remembered and cannot today? wait for the scene what, where you favorite, find like, the I mirror. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> very, uh... glossed over. Hmm. It's because you just cast Alahamora on it, and there's a uh, treasure chest filled with two beans behind it. <laughs> and his parents. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they were in a steamer trunk. Flipendo. <laughs> like Holly Maddox. God, fucking million gnomes so I can Flipendo. hear this sound clip over and over. Get away from that gnome, he'll steal. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, I... Oh, Mario. You I only looked it up. Actually steal them. Beans as you'll ever need. I looked it up. If I wanted to get all of the uh, all of the cards, including the special card at the end, I need an additional 250 beans. So I have to be careful. <laughs> so you. I'm gonna need a nice buffer of about 3,000 beans. <laughs> Is this what boys sound like when they're chasing after you? Missile waster. Flipendo. You need to figure out how to replace sound clips. <laughs> you, you can just tell from that uh, position that they're in that they're the kind of creature that drags their uh, mystical ass across the carpet, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am the living end. <laughs> sure. Are. Uh, I would have liked to have seen the recording session with that voice actor. 
Those gnomes are pesky little things. Oh, yeah. Oh, a treasure chest. Open it. Creepy. Three beans. Nope, so that's a mimic. All the ears in Hogwarts, these other students just walk past the treasure chest like no, no way and to Harry open Harry just flipped uh, through the wall. That was actually like also an interesting glitch because every single door that you uh, walk up to in this game usually opens away from Harry. Oh, it's these motherfuckers. Hey Harry, <laughs> have you collected 25 beans? This is some oh, I don't know. New style Thanks, shit. Harry. We really needed these. Here, take Before the rest of the 300 off of us. Here's a wizard Please. card for you. You've earned it. Come on, George. We've got work to do. Oh, look, it's eat. Bertie Bot, the inventor of the every flavored beans. Fuck you. I think they so... worship that guy, not give his card away. So can Harry just not just pick up the card? He has to magic it. Yes, he does. I had to dra like dramatically overanimate that one thing. Look, they're important. Okay, there's 24 cards in this game to get, and then a special 25th card. But first, you have to defeat. She must not be named. Collect the other 24 cards, and then have 250 beans in your inventory. Thanks, game facts. <laughs> You're welcome. You Whoa! <laughs> we do have a lightning bolt scar on your forehead. <laughs> Bitch, you <laughs> have a scar on your forehead too. <laughs> well, this is a nice uh, piece of exploration, I guess. I found a Nobody cares, whoever the hell you are. We found like five secret the areas. To find five At least it was yesterday. This just leads to the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Actually, in the Game Boy game, they have uh, girls' bathrooms mapped out, but not this game. What? You can't go into them, though, because you're a boy. <laughs> oh, it's the third floor corridor, holy shit. Oh shit, it's the guy that they forgot to establish as a villainous character earlier, so we better bring him in in the middle of Act 3. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, Mr. Rickman? Wow, did you see that? <gasps> Professor Holy Slate just came out of the shit. forbidden corridor. I need to stop He's swearing so quite much. badly. I'm not that <laughs> bad at Harry. this game. Let's take a look before Filch comes wow. back. Wow, a hidden passage. I'm Hear stunning. that growling? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. Something awful, eh? Yup, I was <laughs> waiting for that because I was thinking I should turn the volume way, way up. <laughs> Better tell me on the run. Good eye. Defense against dark arts lesson. But yeah. I decided against it. Goon found the programmers were obviously all goons. Goony goon goon goon. God damn. Goon say. <laughs> you have another de uh, defense against dark arts before um, potions. Yep. Hmm. The game is basically just folding in on itself now at this point. <laughs> Collapsing into a single space. Time and space mean nothing. <laughs> that explains the disappearance of Mrs. Norris and the fact that the fucking uh, invisibility cloak hasn't even brought in yet. I'm pretty sure Mrs. Norris is in the game later in the stealth segment. I know. To illuminate okay. Dark magic with the Lumos spell. This is basically just Watch like another. One. Then. Hold down the, the same thing you've done and repeat. several times already. This is the last spell that we actually have to learn in this game. Well, I mean, there's no, not really any difference between any of the spells, except maybe Incendio. They all they, act they all like just like un Yeah. Is but this one actually use? serves a purpose because using this causes platforms to appear. Uh-huh. How is, is this the last time you go to the, Is this the last time you go to Defense Against the Dark Arts? Because his stuttering is very annoying. It's a color character, um... Point. No, 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 no. Um, this is actually a pirated version of the game, and the stutter doesn't exist in the official <laughs> one. <laughs> and it has a... Buy this game, or die. It just has a dynamic, uh, dynamic subtitles. 
<laughs> this is my finest moment coming up here. Oh boy. You actually oh, defeat Delta. You actually defeat Voldemort right here Gryffindor. somehow. I well, accidentally he let go of like... my wand. Crack gold, Stand. you're not supposed to say his name. Observe. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh. <laughs> Holy. Wow. Shit. Oh Take my god! god. You're wobbling <laughs> oh, Scott! <laughs> remarkable, oh my Mr. god. <laughs> but you don't get any extra points for it, which is. kind of stupid. Points for Griffin. Kind of gay. T -t -t Try again, Mr. Potter. You did it perfectly, now do it again. Finally! I have perfected spell casting. <laughs> Thank god it's the second to last time I ever actually have to do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you missed one point. Gonna have to go back and redo it. Nope. Somebody hasn't been watching any of the videos. The end of the year, we know, goddamn. Also, at this point in the game, uh, Slytherin is always programmed to have like at least 31 points more than Gryffindor has. I, I think uh, if you had the maximum number of points, they would still have. You gotta do this shit again. You know. Of course. Yes, but and only Harry has to practice the spell. Everybody else is good to go, spell. and they can go home. Follow me, Mr. Papa. Take a nap. Hogwarts Work on became homework. a commuting school. <laughs> Hold down the mouse button. They, right, get, to go, they get to take an early look. Everybody else drops oh, out, and they all go to the equivalent of uh, DeVry magic school. <laughs> Learn to create your own spells. <laughs> I got my magical degree. Today. <laughs> magical Obama VCR wants repair. Others to go back to magic school. Now you can. Yeah, this would be like mildly. Your challenge stars. Like they could have made this like end. a transfiguration lesson. You transfigure air into platforms. <laughs> I'm not getting how making a platform is defending yourself against dark magic. Uh, because it's a platform of light. You putts. Over a pit of darkness, like it makes false. It makes complete sense. Clearly, you just didn't see it before because you had to take your <laughs> knob out of your eyes. I don't like those because it's hard to tell what the hitbox is. Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can you climb life. upon them? I'm yes, sure we'll find out. Uh, in fact, you it's required. Them in a climbing pose. It is required for the oh. next. Uh, part of this challenge. That sounds amazingly fun. It is. I tried <laughs> taking them backwards for about 20 minutes, which is why this video is so long. <laughs> That's it. the rest of the video. A secret. Sweet, you unlocked a secret that you can't reach. Flipendo. You might be able to reach it eventually. Are you ahead of us, or do you just... Luckily, no. you just have a sixth sense about this. No, well, you the just fact missed that it. I cast the Alahomora spell on that stained glass window and it lifted up. I feel which obviously coming. weren't paying attention to because you seem to be red or er, blue yellow color blind. Yeah. <laughs> what? What are they talking about? It's just a fucking gray wall that's moving. <laughs> I don't actually see the colors blue or yellow. I, I don't nothing. want you to get so mad that you're just gonna see gray. All right. Flipendo. <laughs> Flipendo. Break out all your uh, color blind jokes. That's pretty much it. That's all I've got. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Adjust glasses. <laughs> this room actually reminds me a lot of that room that uh, Leon walks into in uh, the castle in Resident Evil 4 with the three suits of armor. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is never gonna work. Why, why, why are, you are you doing it that way? <laughs> because it's a challenge. Gonna make this game hard somehow. <gasps> I could just use a trainer, but, you know. Shut up. No, that wasn't a, a jab at you. It's because when I was trying to look up <laughs> shit earlier, one of the things that came up was a trainer. I was trying to think what the fuck you would need a trainer for in this game. Maybe if you had, like, a broken mouse or no mouse and you needed a... Uh, you literally something. do not have a monitor. You, and you need a, you... Uh, a program to do the spell tracing for you, but that's pretty much all I can imagine. And you can clearly see I did that Lumos spell perfectly earlier. I totally tagged that Wobblin' Scott. 
Oh, look! Yeah! It's a guard! Sweet. Drackle still has no idea what we're talking about because he can not <laughs> see it. So unfortunately, the cards are blue and yellow. I don't see card, actually. They're just gone. <laughs> Huge chunks of the world are missing the Drackle. It's a hard I can't life. See, I can't see taxis. <laughs> I just see people floating, like, along the ground. Like the, uh... Invisible Cars code from San Andreas. <laughs> the Pendo. Also, because this was the. Four should have cheats like that. <laughs> Since this was the um, Lumos challenge, it seemed appropriate to have the Shadow Temple music and actually use it. Quit trying to kill yourself, that's not the way out here. <laughs> uh, look, I actually had it staying on my head though. <laughs> what? Nice program, guys. Cast your wind. It's a statue. Yep. So it's very difficult actually to tell where you can grip onto these things, so it's mostly determined by luck. It's so luckily that one spell that you cast moves up and down. Oh, hey, look, a picture of what might be Hogwarts. No. It's just some castle. Came with the picture frame. <laughs> it says $29, and it's from Walmart on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there'd be a magic Walmart in the world of Harry Potter? No. Oh, hey, that must or be a magical. portrait that uh, would usually have a moving person in it this game weren't terrible. As opposed to a close-up <laughs> picture of a chair. I wonder if they did that in later games. I think they... It seems like they did something. They probably had the technology and ability to program that would allow them to actually have people moving back and forth in that. Now I know there's something... There it is. Some sort of animated GIF technology? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think they've invented that yet. Also, the stars have this nice little starburst of stars around them. Yes. Now, collect your challenge, stars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it would only uh, be all too appropriate if missing a jump from the highest part of this platform would cause both of Harry's shins to break. <laughs> you snap like rotted twigs. <laughs> This is meant to be a children's game for children. Well, it could use the Euphoria engine, apparently. <laughs> hmm. hmm. A suspiciously enclosed area. Uh-oh. I'm sure nothing will happen. That frog! There's a golden frog. I wish I had a golden frog. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, so I, I should probably show off those cards and shit that collected. Oh, you only have one card missing so far. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the get all cards code to get around that. <laughs> it's probably the one from uh, the path outside of Hagrid's. That guy's evil. You could tell because he has a beard. Mm hmm. When you go into that menu, there's like a few seconds where it's just frozen. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Although, if you hit escape twice to uh, get into the menu and then get out of it, uh, you can move around freely. You know, it's, it's like the game doesn't even try to load the escape menu. <laughs> You're given control again. It's because this game is well programmed. <laughs> yep, so we have a nice enclosed area here with uh, what appear to be doors that could easily be barred. Why don't you just uh, go to the save point? Because that's through the door, and the doors are self-locking doors, and you can't get out. It's like that one episode of Get Smart. 
<laughs> Where they were locked in the hospital supply closet. Harry better float across the floor. Is this the only boss they can think of? Yep. Well, no, it was either that like, or Draco. All the villains. What are we doing in here? Also in this Taking challenge the area. <laughs> I, I really want to get like a close-up shot of Peeves though, so people can see the difference between how he looks now and how he's going to look in the next game. Come on, Harry, shoot something. They actually go. use an ectoplasmic removal spell, as uh, which you use to fight him in the, in the next. <laughs> game. What happens if you don't get all the challenge dice? Is that possible? Um, if you skip one of them, you don't get the extra 20 points. Oh, okay. Which what? doesn't really matter because you're locked in a system where you can't possibly succeed anyway. It's like, whose line is uh, it anyway? The points don't matter. Huh. Right, guys. Right. Right. Uh, I figured uh, I would run back here eh. and see it. Peeves right back. Should have saved that frog. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because this game is so difficult that, you know, he might actually lose. He's down to his last little, um, deal. I hear yeah, I, I totally, He's... uh, I won't be able to bust out my, uh, Wally West transformation powers and run really, really fast. <laughs> if really I, if I don't fast. get it. The Flash. Oh. Because he's a light. Or his energy bar is a lightning bolt. So is Shazam. Uh, yeah, but nobody likes Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped off because I realized I had to go back in this direction first. We're going to discover a secret. Great. Uh, <laughs> I think Drakul just choked on his tongue. I'm so surprised and secret. There are secrets everywhere! But not all it's secrets are revolting! Fependo. Fependo. Oh yes, that Fependo. fire-breathing turtle thing apparently was a, uh, a fire crab, though. I remember that now, and I also remember when I first played it thinking as... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense because it looks like a turtle, and it moves like a turtle, and it can be easily flipped over and abused like a turtle. And if you, uh, wish hard enough, it sound like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a turtle. That is what this fucking thing sounded like. Yeah, well, that, that's the sound turtle. Oh, I got a ghost! Oh no! Hello again, Harry. It's John Cleese! Clever lad! Why does a ghost need to sleep? This game is full of plot holes. <laughs> Fuck this gear. Why would he pick this place to nap? It's not even a bad. He's got that unholy altar right there that he <laughs> sacrifices at. Uh. And also because nobody except for people who know the Lumos spell can get there, so it's secret. Well, then that would be everybody because first years are taking the Lumos challenge. <laughs> yeah, well, shut up. Yeah, it well, sense. why don't you. <laughs> you are self. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a trap. Oh no! Flipendo. Is that a purse? Or a boombox? It's nothing. <gasps> Is that Helga Hufflepuff's cup? <laughs> it's just a cup. <laughs> the museum of useless crap. This looks like the storage room for useless crap. They have to put it on the I pedestals. remember that part. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's we just get like... it. Your parents were abusive and they bought you this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling this child is service. So <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to have your parents hauled in before child services? I could do it. <laughs> what are you doing here? I think I'm lost. He's a Slytherin. Please stop that. Slytherins do not like it when I jump on them. Do I know you? I think Nobody I'm lost. Cares. 
Kill yourself. See, he can't get through the challenge. He doesn't know Aloha more. I was about to ask, like, why would they make a challenge where you have to know a spell that they don't teach anybody? It's kind of a... Perhaps because that wasn't Hermione that told us the spell earlier, it was actually Professor Flitwick after consuming Polyjuice Potion. <sighs> he teaches every... He teaches oh, all hey, the... Look, yeah. two more of Helga Hufflepuff's cups. <laughs> Please stop that. He teaches everyone, um... Alohomora disguised as their best friend. You can't have a best friend that's a girl, because then that'd be your girlfriend. Oh shit. <laughs> That's exactly how it went down, and Clarissa explains it all too. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> what's that musical? What's that riff that plays every time Sam comes up the ladder? It's just a riff. Yeah. I was hoping maybe you, Roosevelt, Hello again, would Harry. probably know it <laughs> by heart. <laughs> I think it's the same riff that they played at the end of an episode of MST3K. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a generic riff. Ah, but it's it's got itself nestled comfortably in aspects of our popular culture. Uh -huh. Easily replicated if you have a whammy bar. <laughs> I do not because I do not own a guitar. I instead spent all of my money on a ukulele and a pot. <laughs> Maybe if only there was a whammy bar for the ukulele. You just have to slam it against something. I have the feeling that if anybody were to be able to develop a, uh, a whammy bar for a ukulele, it would probably be that Kate Micucci girl. Who? <laughs> uh, the, the comedian. I don't know who that is. She plays the ukulele. She... oh, okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is her It's the funniest instrument, aside from the accordion. Uh, what about the rumba box? No, what <laughs> is that? Whoa, man, I'm on, like, a platform of light! Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's pretty know who you are, Quirrell. By the way, there's a guy lost in the maze. He's probably right. gonna die. Look at it this way. <laughs> Either he's arboring Voldemort underneath his hat, which is a distinct possibility, or he's Muslim and planning on blowing up the school. <laughs> so, either way, everybody's gonna die. So what's the point oh, of like... He, well, not he... everybody, just Fred. I just well, saw Ron point. down in the entrance hall. Ron, you say? You look just like him. <laughs> no, his shirt does not have a large red R on it. Or large sorry, R. You, sorry, hey, kid, Harry, you can't be I won five anything points when Harry Potter is around. Oh my god, that dude's so twin. Down in the entrance hall. How many, how many red-haired twins are there? <laughs> how many Rons are there? Nice cool. too. <laughs> how they don't? Flippendo. This guy isn't dressed like a wizard. There he is. He's a bard, I think. Oh, he must be Beetle the Bard. Great. <laughs> Harry gets the most ridiculous, like, attempting to grab a leg animation. You know, I, it just occurred to me that maybe a lot of these pictures, these portraits that we're passing by, are actually, like, the game's programmers, and they just put themselves in the game in this fashion, sort of like That's the possible. picture of stars. Oh, it's the monster of Slytherin! <laughs> oh, hey, Harry! <laughs> sort of like the pictures of, uh, the stars, um... Have you collected uh, uh, Unit from uh, Resident Evil 2. Experience. Wait a minute, isn't that the the nice work, four? Harry. You found all the beans we huh? need for now. No. Is this the fourth time there? you see them? Yes. Oh. So that's it, right? As far as I know. Huh. Hmm. I'm blowing their load. They haven't, you haven't even gotten Remember, to the troll yet. They've forgotten Arthur. Beans. <laughs> yes. be our secret, you should be standing in between them. <laughs> if they have uh, Ron, you can't have you fell Farg. Why do they have a big picture of, uh, or, or a big painting Quirrell. of Quirrell anyway? It just doesn't make any sense. Is that, was Maybe. that the, the, the evil lady from Sleeping Beauty? Maleficent? No, that's Biggie Smalls, I think. <laughs> no, that's King clearly. I don't think so. <laughs> he looks like a black Bob Hoskins. 
the most stereotypical witch ever. <laughs> she set the uh, standard. Set a precedent for. I like how she has the hunchback. <laughs> oh, maybe it's the. Uh, um, nice oh, dude. Oh, I should actually point out that the uh, mirror end of this hallway, not the one that we're uh, going to exit through here, has that mirror that uh, we went through before and had to climb up to the top of the room and there were six of those beans in a treasure chest. You recall that? Mm -hmm. no? Okay, well this one has, uh, down at the other end, it's got a mirror now that leads down, but it only leads to a treasure chest with a single fucking beam. So I ignored it. Oh no, you're late. You're late to class. Don't care. Yeah, you're like never gonna make it classes like a day. What is this? <laughs> However, I will take that beat. Whoops. <laughs> well, Harry and so Harry, Harry Potter was stuck to the banister for the rest of his life. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> it was really class. cold and he licked it. <laughs> Sorry, Professor Snape, I was stuck to the geometry. Snape's always awarding points to Slytherin. It's like he's the head of their house, and he has a personal stake in it. <laughs> you know, like, what's the, how many points you need to win? Whoa! Oh. It's a very obviously planted card. <laughs> But for some odd reason, going back and forth over it, they would not allow me to actually pick it up. Well, usually they just sit in the chest, but that one flew out. Mm. It was full of piss and vinegar. I hear Fred and Weasley trade wizard cards for me. Hello, Harry. Have you met that guy? Potions is fucking awful. <laughs> Something awful.